Hello, uh, with uh, this video I would like to show you how easy it is to manage and design cabinets with drawers. You know better than I do that this requires a lot of skillful drillings. Therefore I'm going to start with dropping and drag and dropping uh, a tandem box from my virtual library with a depth of 400 millimeters. I wish to have three of them. I would like to offset the first drawer upwards of 15 millimeters and of course I need to manage the overlap of the front around uh, the laterals to avoid collision with the bottom part of my cabinet. Great, this is already done. You can watch by yourself and now I'm going to proceed further with uh, the setting of uh, a few drawers in the central element of my cabinet, but this time I want them to be different from each other. So it means I have to work one by one. I select here, for example, as for the first cabinet, a tandem box of 500 millimeter depth. I set it to one and I uh, choose to check the height, the height value to 222 millimeters and I have to uh, adapt and edit the overlap values. And okay, my first uh, drawer is already in place. I drag and drop a second drawer, just above the first one. And this time I'm keeping working with a tandem box, but uh, I would like to have a height of uh, uh, 180 a millimeter I can keep my values for the overlaps and yeah okay I can see by myself oh uh, I'm gonna have a problem to set up my uh, third drawer so it's it's not a problem actually I just get back to the add-on properties of my cabinet I select the shelf here and I just modif modify its Z value and what is fantastic is because we are fully parametric all the drawers have been uh, updated and now I have enough place, enough uh, space to uh, set my third drawer above the first uh, two uh, on my central element. And this time the height of the, uh, the front is automatically uh, computed. I proceed now even further on the third element of my cabinet. I'm just going to uh, to have uh, uh, a single, uh, to have four drawers, sorry. Uh, I keep working with tandem box, I like very much tandem box. And uh, don't forget to uh, offset uh, upwards the first uh, drawer to avoid collision with the bottom part of my cabinet and manage and edit the overlaps. And that's it. Okay, next uh, I want to m to set a door on the left side of my cabinet. So I try to grab the place door wizard. And now again with a very user-friendly uh, manner I can manage the placement of my door. I just want one door. I manage the overlaps again. That's very uh, important. And um, <coughs> I validate uh, actually uh, my door. You can notice that uh, <clears throat> through the add-on properties uh, I have uh, again a problem with a shelf. The shelf is too high and I'm going to lower the shelf in order to make some place and space to set up uh, another door for example on top of my cabinet. These are the drillings that were necessary for the dowels but they will disappear later after computing the final project for uh, the exploitation to the CAM system. On the top element I'm going to set a, again uh, <coughs> a drawer, This that's bizarre but that's just for the fun of this video and I set up to one of course the depth to 350 and again I must uh, take care about the uh, first offset for the first uh, drawer uh, again to avoid collision with uh, uh, the part underneath and uh, this is done actually 
Okay, now I need to uh, put some hinges on my door, so I drag and drop the place hardware f function and with the very uh, user-friendly wizard here, I select my clip top hinge and I just validate I can keep my uh, current uh, parameters. Everything seems to be fine. Oh no, actually I have a problem here on the back, I, actually the the four drawers here uh, are, are not properly uh, fitted. Uh, well, it's absolutely not uh, a catastrophe. Just take it, take it easy. We just uh, select the drawers, add on properties. I choose another kind of tandem box and I edit the depths of the uh, uh, four drawers and it is automatically updated. Okay, my project is over. It's about time to start the production. I'm going to export this project to QCAM and this is my CAM interface. I have loaded the directory with all the parts and I can browse the directory and check every part if I wish. You can notice the presence of drilling, grooving and, and so on. I start the execution. Now the, there's a translation of the geometries to a compatible uh, program for my CNC machine, which is in this case a Rover BS, a three-axis machine running with uh, a post-processor BS works. And here, for example, I have the drillings on my front of my drawer. Thank you for your attention. If you are interested by our CATCAM system, do not hesitate to call me or send an email.